Hello friends and welcome back to my channel Wrestling With Books where today we're going to be talking about a recent historical fiction book that I read. Now this book is all about the family of John Wilkes Booth. We do learn about John Wilkes himself, but this is primarily a book about his family. It's historical fiction and it's called appropriately Booth by Karen Joy Fowler. And what attracted me to this title, I saw it as an option on NetGalley and I wanted to read it because I do, I do enjoy Civil War era you know, historical fiction, but also I enjoy anything that kind of has to do with the presidents. There's, there's a backstory to that. You know, I did, I had this fifth grade teacher who did not listen to the curriculum. I don't know how he did it in retrospect. All I know is that there was no curriculum. And part of what, I know, this sounds crazy looking back, but part of what he had us do was something called the Parade of Presidents. And he assigned us each a president and each person would have the opportunity to, to speak as that president and give a speech about your life and people would do Q and then we'd do Q and A's and we have to answer on the fly as that president fifth grade but a result of it is now that I'm like super into the presidents <laughs> and he had us all reading about it and I mean I, I certainly it worked out but like when you look back seeing how structured everything now is you know it's like boy boy what what happened Sorry, I decided to change up my tripod a bit because I didn't feel super sturdy but I feel a lot better now so that is what led to me requesting this book on NetGalley and I was approved for it so I didn't really know. I didn't even know that it was just about the Booth family I think until I went to read it and there was uh you know an intro from the author sharing that this is about the Booth family and different diaries and journals and letters that she read to put this all together and Wow. So first off, like I didn't know that his family in their time was already famous because the father, Junius Booth, was a Shakespearean theater actor and was very well known, but was also a very intense alcoholic. His, guess it, Edward? It's, it's with an E, the next brother. Oh God, what is his name? He's like, he was like Edmund. He was like my favorite to follow. And now I don't even remember his name. He kind of was, I think becomes as far as acting kind of usurps his father as being even a better actor. He had to go around with his father to make sure he was showing up to gigs, to make sure he was not performing drunk, things like that. And when you're traveling in this day and age, like, you know, you're going on boats, it's taken weeks. So that was a big deal for him. They dealt with you know, uh, deaths of siblings when they were young. There's a sibling named Henry, other things. And while I get into, so there's a lot of tragedies, right? But none of these tragedies, I'm going in and out of focus. None of these tragedies are presented as a way to excuse John Wilkes Booth's behaviors because as all this goes on, no one else in his family like feels how he does, nobody. Um, and and even his father, his behaviors really counteract the way John ends up viewing things and feeling. Um, it just really just tells the story of this family. And as things kind of continue to go on, you, you be Edwin. It is, Ed, it's Edwin, Edwin, <laughs> Edwin. There's even been like a PBS documentary on Edwin for his, for his acting and how, you know, well known he was. And even John gets into acting. There are two sisters who, uh, you know, survive through adulthood, but you be learn the ins and outs of these family members. You learn how their feelings, their thoughts. It's so detailed that 
it starts to like, how is this not all real? None of this feels like made up. It feels like Karen Joy Fowler was just like there. So in the end, she shares how one of the daughters, Asia, had kept really good notes and was trying to write a book about her father. Edwin had a lot of letters back and forth. There was one sister who kind of is a, what do you call it? You know, the the, we'd call them an old cat lady today. Uh, she doesn't, she doesn't marry and um, they allude to her having some sort of ailments but we don't know what that is. And so in the book it's implied that it's scoliosis but we're not sure. You learn though all their feelings so much, all their stresses, all their hardships, what they overcome that you be, it be, the book becomes more suspenseful because you know what's gonna happen. You know, you know their brother is going to do something heinous and horrible and they're going to have to live with the consequence of his behavior. So it just really gets you kind of, it's a slow burn. It's because it's so detailed. So in the beginning, you're really just like kind of like, okay, who is this Rosalie and why am I following her so much, you know? So you follow Rosalie first and really get to know the family through her. Then you get to know them through Ed Edwin. Then you get to know them through Asia. And John is throughout it, but he's never like a POV character. And it's really fascinating. I think because you follow about five of the siblings who, um, Rosalie, Asia, John, Joey, and Edwin, I'm one of five. So I think that's why I kind of liked it as well because you're hearing about a family through multiple sibling perspectives and how different responsibilities fall onto different siblings. It really got suspenseful as you want to find out how do they react to what John did? Do they overcome it? How does their society and community react to them? Because they, you know, people didn't have access to John to, to let their anger out. So it kind of comes out on them and it, it just feels so true. Like it's historical fiction, but it just, you could, you could tell the research that comes from it. So this was a net galley read that ended up being really intense and really good. I would recommend this for anybody who is a, if you like historical fiction and if you like Civil War era fiction, um, every new chapter, which the chapters are long. This is, you know, a 480 page book. The chapters are long, but every new chapter starts with where Lincoln is and his journey. And you know, these worlds are going to dissect, but you don't exactly know how and just things about why did he go to the theater that night? You know, if only he had it and things like that. I, so it, like I said, if you like historical fiction and if you like Civil War era fiction, then I would consider giving this read a chance. Cause, but no, it's gonna be a long one. This is not gonna be a quick, quick read. Now, I do wanna say, cause I haven't been posting a ton on this channel. You know I have my other channel, Wrestling With Disney, and I've been even slacking there a little bit lately, but, but, I'm gonna be doing Bookmas in July. I am going to post a video every day in July. It's not gonna be Christmas themed, it's just gonna be me posting a video every day in July. I was going back and forth of what to call it, cause you know, there's Vlogmas, and then Booktubers do Bookmas, but you know, I didn't wanna take anybody's title. Haley and Bookland says that she invented Bookmas, but I just thought Vlogmas is such a generic term. Isn't it just putting book in instead of vlog? So is it really an invention? I don't know. But so then I didn't wanna use a term that was, you know, loosely um, trademarked or anything. So I was like stressing out over this. I was thinking, yeah, just, just call it Bookmas in July and it's gonna be okay. And you know, I love the channel Haley and Bookland, so why not just say she came up with Bookmas? But I guess I struggle with that because I'm like, but did you? That's like saying you invented Vlogmas. Did you? How do we know? So that is going to be coming up on my channel. So be sure to subscribe and let me know. Do you think I should call it Vlogmas in July or Bookmas in July? Because we still have time to like to change that up, to change it up. I'd like to know what you are reading and hopefully I'll have some more videos with some more books rather than just these standalone reviews. But I do kind of like doing 
the standalone reviews. Thanks for being here and I'll see you on the next one.